Now, Fox 54 Connected. Hi, welcome. I'm Jackie Lynch. I'm here today with my friend Evelyn Forreston. She is a realtor here in our area and she's going to give us some great advice on real estate. So, um, Evelyn, with the current trends in downsizing homes, can you give some folks some advice about that? Absolutely. Um, when you're downsizing, go through all your items, pick out your favorite items and go ahead and pack them up because you know you're taking them with you. Secondly, make a maybe pile because there are going to be things that you don't know if you want to keep or give away and then make your giveaway pile. Call Salvation Army or someone to come pick it up. It's a great idea to go ahead and get rid of the clutter because you want you want to be able to see what you're going to take with you. Right, absolutely. So how would you prep the house if someone's getting ready to sell? Definitely declutter, do the same thing. However, you want to make sure the groundskeeping looks good on point. As you um, drive by, go ahead and drive by your house and say, would I buy this house just by looking at exterior? Yeah. Secondly, um, so, uh, secondly, curb appeal, um, is, important. Curb appeal is huge. First impressions matter. It depends on whether they're going to walk in your house or not. Um, as far as decluttering, make sure countertops, everything is put up and make sure toilet lids are down. There's something about a toilet <laughs> lid being down that makes a difference. Yeah. And lastly, <laughs> keep the lights on when you're showing the house. When you know somebody's coming to look at the house, keep the lights on. It makes such a difference to have dark corners and with lamps. You know, it just brightens up the house and changes the ambiance. That's good advice. Hey, so if someone's looking to upsize, what advice do you have for them? I would think about your functional needs in your home. For instance, if you like to cook and you want everyone to gather around your island, think about getting an island and an open kitchen. Um, if you prefer to cook privately and want to entertain in a dining room, think about getting a separate dining room. Tell your realtor exactly what you want and make that list as far as your functionality of your family and how you really live. Right, so do you have any advice finally for first time home buyers? First time home buyers, get a realtor, please. It is worth it. You want somebody that's gonna hold your hand. You, um, The process can be exciting and scary and confusing at times. So that's why you need somebody to hold your hand and walk you through it. Also, they'll connect you with lenders and find a good lender and the lender will walk you through it as well. And it, hold your hand, that's the main key is you want somebody to take care of you. Oh, that's great advice. You know, this is the, the largest purchase some people will ever make. So yes. it's really smart to have someone who's an expert in the field. We thank you for being that. Thank you. Well, um, how do we reach you? Real quick. So you can reach me at 205-901-6756 or evelynf.com. Thank you so much.